Taurus, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now let us dive right in because we see here that there is an opportunity that we feel like you may be missing due to a need of something, okay? So for instance, this is feeling like something to do career-wise or opportunity in terms of abundance-wise, all right? So there is something that is present already in your physical reality that you have the ability to see and expand from or expand off of, okay? Um... But we feel again with that, that Ace of Pentacles in reverse that it may be either not being seen or it may there may be some fear around taking the full plunge and, and moving forward with it. Uh, or there just might be some resistance in terms of uh, not, not really trusting this feeling. Now, the universe wants to remind you that everything in this game of life is um, must be looked at energetically wise in terms of reciprocity. Okay, so when we are giving and we are getting in return, there's reciprocity, right? But if we are giving, like if we are trying to say, please somebody or make somebody like us or put energy into a job or a, um, a, a project or anything, anything at all that we are giving our focus to, and it does not give us happiness in return. It does not bring us bliss or provide us bliss. It is not the right area of focus. If at all you are focusing into areas of life that don't, do not bring you peace, bliss, joy, or happiness, all that's going to do is confuse you because you're going to think I should be doing this. This should be better. Things should be different. But really, it's the universe saying, stop focusing on this thing. Instead, seek out what does bring you bliss and joy because that will be the right focus for you in your life, okay? We can see here that there's some emotional distress going on with that Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, that emotional distress that you're feeling is going to in turn create a lot of resistance in life, aka not res or resisting the future that's laid out in front of you or the path that's laid out in front of you. And what this represents is a disconnection from your higher self or a disconnection from your intuition. Now, when we are disconnected from that part of us that guides us, we feel extremely lost and lonely, uh, almost feel betrayed in a sense, if you will. We may feel betrayed by those around us. We may feel betrayed by ourselves. It's just this internal feeling of deceit, okay? This internal feeling of betrayal. Like we're not living the lives we want to live. Everything's wrong. Again, everything should be different. And when we feel like this, it ends up reflecting in where we take action. We end up when we're in this kind of detached attached, um, deceit, kind of betrayal, kind of an energy. And even if you are feeling deceit or betrayal by somebody in your life, See, the thing is, is that even that's an inclination that you are disconnected from your higher self because no one in this game of life is ever meant to disrupt how we feel, right? We've got to always remember that. Think of this game is like of like that Sims game. You know, the Sims game, if you don't, I'm not really familiar with myself, but what I do know is there's like a people and you create a life and you build it and the other people in the life aren't really that um, uh, beneficial in a sense. You really just want to focus on your own sort of creations, if you will. It's the same thing here. Right. A lot of the times we get all caught up in who's doing what, keeping up with the Joneses. He said, she said what they're doing, how they made me feel. But the thing is, is like that only takes away from our own power, our own energy. Right. Because at the end of the day, when we give attention to something that doesn't bring us any life force back, any bliss, any joy, any happiness, we end up focusing on the negatives of life, the disappointments in life, the losses, the separations, the sorrows, the should have had this, this should have been different. If I said this differently, maybe this wouldn't have been the result. If I did this differently, maybe this would have been the result. And we hang on to this hurt and this pain. But when we hang on to this hurt and this pain, all it does is it reflects in feeling uninspired because where we direct our focus is what we're going to get out of this game of life. And again, if we're focusing into areas that do not bring us reciprocity, then we are really going to be sadly missing a huge opportunity that's here for all of us, right? The universe wants you to remember that in uh, really prioritizing the feeling of peace. And if something doesn't bring you peace to think about, to, to do, to act on, then it's just not the right area of focus for you, right? So if you're not feeling peaceful in your life, perhaps you might want to take a look at your life and ask yourself, what is bringing me out of the present moment? What is bringing me out of presence? 
or what is in between me and presence. Because being present in the moment is the only thing that's important to us. It's the only thing that matters because your present state is going to let you know where you, the universe wants you to set your focus and attention. Because if it brings you bliss, if it brings you inspiration, if it brings you joy, happiness, contentment, satisfaction, happiness, peace, then you know that's where you're meant to be directing your focus. This is a feeling universe, right? How you feel determines how much abundance and how much receivable mode or the vortex that you're in, right? And the better we feel, the more we attract into our lives, right? And we can see that the universe is guiding you. And the gu guidance that comes from the universe is being present in the moment and looking for the magical moments, being aware of the little breadcrumbs that the universe gives, and to know that you are always loved, you are cherished, you are taken care of, you are looked after, you have thousands of fairies, of angels, of guides, of spirit animals, of unicorns, whatever you connect with, dragons, whatever you connect with, you have them all by your side. Whatever you connect with most at this time, this is going to be the energy present. If you're a lot of the time, the big cats are very powerful lions, tigers, right? They really bring forward uh, an energy of strength. And we're really feeling like right now might be time to kind of um, connect with some of that energy, an energy that is going to empower you, right? Really call forth an animal that resonates with your spirit and ask them to help you at this time. Ask them to guide you. You will be amazed. When I was first learning how to read tarot and amongst my own time, I was already reading tarot, but because I was feeling so unworthy and so doubtful on my journey, I didn't have any belief in myself whatsoever. And my husband's incredible because when he wants to do something, he just dives right in. And for the most part, I can be like that. But when it comes to like my own things, I, I still have that disbelief in myself. So when we were going to dive onto YouTube and, and, and learn, we were going to practice in front of each other. And I was so uh, shy and, and had such a low belief in myself that I couldn't even practice in front of my husband. I couldn't even pretend to give him a read, you know, or, or give him a read because I had no voice, right? That's, that's where I started. That was the beginning of my journey. And so I uh, pulled some spirit animal cards and I pulled the otter spirit and the otter spirit in one of the decks here is uh, transformation. And, uh, when you call upon the otter spirit, they, you ask this otter spirit to transform your energy. And I'm not even kidding. I called forward the otter spirit and said, otter spirit, please help me. I need your assistance. Please help transmute my energy so I can be my best self. So I can be who I am in my in my alone time amongst the people that I love. Let me bring that voice. Let me bring my higher self in front of an energy that 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 you know I still had an approval of others, right? And I'm not kidding you. I invited this otter energy in and I went slammed the tarot deck card in front of my husband. I was like, are you ready? And I just gave him like the best tarot read ever. And he was looking at me with his jaw dropped and he's like you see, you see. And I was like, I know what was that? Right. And then I went back to my old, my shy self. And then of course it builds from there, but it's really about commanding your energy. And sometimes inviting in a presence that seems almost a little, that's different than our own calling in spirit, whatever form that is for you. I really connect with animals. So I like to call in the spirit animals, but whatever that is for you, call in energy to help you because it will, it truly will. They will always be there for you. And then when you call in this energy, you will be able to be more present in the moment because you are aware and see the thing is, the universe is really guiding you right now through this time Taurus, because a lot of things are going to be speeding up for you in terms of a lot of your manifestations are going to come to fruition. A lot of decisions you're going to have to make. And these decisions are not you here alone on planet earth. These, these decisions are you and your guides, you and your team guiding you to a new uh, adventure, a new beginning of some form. But this always shows up when you follow your bliss and, uh, and excitement. Now we'll tell you something, right? What is destined for you? is always going to manifest no matter what. So you're going to get to the place that you want to get to in your life, whether it's through suffering or whether it's through abundance and love, right? We're going to get there anyway. So the name of the game is to really let go of the negative, let go of the limiting beliefs, let go of the resistance, let go of the focusing on all the things that aren't going right or trying to make something happen, even though it doesn't energetically feel like your truth, let all of that go and connect to your truth. First of all, ask, always ask yourself, is this my truth? Because your truth will set you free. Free, right? 
and really just follow the joys in life, the bliss in life, right? And when you do that, you'll always be in alignment with yourself, attracting in the abundance that's your birthright to receive. Now, this is going to segue into your angel message, a perfect timing. So your angels say to you, now is the perfect moment for you to act upon your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive out outcome. If it feels right, if it feels like the truth for you, it is your truth. Okay. And don't forget, uh, the power of positive affirmations, just having a nice little mantra or affirmation that you have on the back of your mind. Anytime your limiting beliefs or your thinking state or your ego tries to creep forward, Forward, tries to guide you out of your knowing, have something that reminds you of the truth, right? The, the universe is always guiding me. Everything is working out best case scenario. Uh, you know, abundance is my birthright and I attract it in by the joy in my heart. You know, just something that's very general for you to keep that energy nice and open for yourself. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like share and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.